My video is about Epic Games' Fortnite Battle Royale, a free-to-play game that was released on the 26th of September 2017. Fortnite Battle Royale was launched around the time in another Battle Royale style game known as Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, or PUBG for short, started to gain traction and bring the Battle Royale style game mode to the masses. Battle Royale style games are survival games on which the player area shrinks over time. Players start with almost no equipment because they have to find weapons and other resources to survive. These games can be played solo or in teams, and they are won by the last man standing. Fortnite follows this battle royale format, and it can be played in solo, duo, and with a squad. Games have a limit of 100 players in a game. The game begins in an island separate from the main island, which is the pre-game lobby, that lets you mess around with the environment of the game while other players load onto it. The actual game starts on this flying bus known as the battle bus. Once the doors open, players can drop to any location of their choosing on the island. After dropping, looking for weapons would be the first thing you'd ideally want to do because it is necessary for survival. Weapons on the map are also randomly generated on every game, so the weapons you find are totally down to luck. The biggest difference in the gameplay of Fortnite as compared to PUBG is the ability to gather resources and build structures or forts. Players can gather either wood, brick or metal from the game environment. As I mentioned earlier on, this game came about around the time when PUBG was gaining traction across the gaming community. At launch, Fortnite had a much smaller number of players than PUBG. This however changed very quickly as it obtained over 10 million players in just 2 weeks after its release. PUBG in comparison had only achieved a mere 3 million players by the end of 2017. Fortnite has now grown exponentially with a player base of 45 million people reported in March 2018. Fortnite Battle Royale is hugely successful for a range of reasons. The game is only rated M in Australia, because while it does include violence, it does not include bloody or gory content, and it also does not include any profanity within the game. The biggest selling point of Fortnite, however, is that it is fully free to play. It can be played on Windows, Mac, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and very recently, it has also made its way onto iOS and Android. The game has recently introduced cross-platform party support, so users can squad up with their friends that own other consoles. So now the question you might have is, how does Epic Games make any money from this game? This game does have cosmetic gear that can be purchased in the in-game currency known as V-Bucks. V-Bucks can be purchased through the game, and they cost around 15 Australian dollars for a thousand of them. The in-game gear however costs lots of money, appealing only to a small amount of people. They then introduced the Battle Pass. A Battle Pass lasts for the season, and allows players to earn cosmetic rewards and also more V-Bucks. Cosmetic rewards earned through the Battle Pass cannot be purchased otherwise. From Season 2, Battle Pass holders also had access to challenges that would give them more battle stars, which allows users to reach higher tiers faster, in turn unlocking more rewards. Players buy the Battle Pass for a variety of reasons. It could be the cosmetic options they get, or the challenges they get access to, or maybe just to support the developer for creating such an epic game. When I got the game, I actually hadn't heard of it from anywhere before. I was just browsing the store one day and came across it. Since it was free, I downloaded it and gave it a go, and I absolutely loved the concept. Back then, the game had many issues, with the biggest one being the lack of 60fps gameplay on Xbox. The greatest thing about Fortnite is that the developers push out new versions so often to fix any issues that the game has. They also constantly work on improving the game by adding weapons, changing the map by adding locations, and LTMs or limited time modes that incorporate other elements into the base game. I have pretty much decided on buying PUBG on the day of its release before playing this game and here I am today, having spent more money than I would have buying PUBG without once thinking about playing PUBG again. This game is great and if you haven't played it, get on it. Thank you for watching.